Yo, welcome to another episode of the Sip City Podcast, coming at you one more week, bringing you this heat. Y'all already know it's your boy Terrence, the host with the most right here. We got the youngin over here, the young gun, Mr. Mr. D. White, Mr. F.O.E. himself sitting over here right now. You already know how it go. What up, bro, dog? No head, no head, no head. So, we had a very interesting show last week. A lot of emotion, a lot of passion about, you know, everything that's been going on with, you know, the unarmed killing of black people. And, you know, we still seeing a lot of protests. Not as much as not not as much rioting as it was. We're still seeing a lot of protests. Um I got a question for you, D. I got a question for you. I know you saw Drew B uh Drew Brees talking that shit. What you feeling about that Drew Brees shit, man? Like everybody else. What's that? <clears throat> Hold on, let me get my station ready. <laughs> I mean, I feel like, you know, a lot of people owe Colin Kaepernick an apology. Mm-hmm. First off, you know what I'm saying? Because Drew Brees did not only show that people are still ignorant toward yeah. towards the issue because I I find that hard to believe that people are ignorant towards the issue because like it was said multiple times that the issue was not the flag or the protest was was, was not against the military or anything patriotic right it was basically a a call out basically saying Let's be let's let's get better, you know what I'm saying, as Americans. If we say we live by this, you see what I'm saying? We have seen this before every fucking event that happens in America, then we gotta live by it. Like the last line is um Home of the Brave. Mm-hmm. In the home of the brave, that when everybody hey, ain't nothing brave about a police officer or four or five police officers brutally attacking one black man brutally killing one black man putting your neck on one black man for eight nine minutes straight i mean putting your knee on a black man's neck right. for eight nine minutes straight ain't nothing brave about that nothing at all that, that's cowardly right though you know what i'm saying if it's taking four of y'all to do one guy that's already cuffed <laughs> y'all some hoes man ain't nothing brave about that nothing you know like, what i'm saying yeah, we even we even, we already knew that what what Cat was doing. He was basically speaking on the injustices of pro, police brutality, the injustices of black people in general. And for Roger Goodell and the NFL to come out here and and, and talk about oh well we was wrong about the kneeling and shit, man, that's some whole ass shit, man. Y'all just trying to jump on the bandwagon because y'all really see some movement out here. As for Drew Brees, never have been a Saints fan. I'm gonna be honest with you. Now, this ain't got nothing to do with the Saints, but he's a represent he's he's a representative of the Saints. And I'm proud of the way that his black teammates was jumping on his ass the way they was. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Malcolm sure. Jenkins, you know, Alvin Kamara, you know what I'm saying? Michael Thomas. Michael the Thomas. Can't go on Mike. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, you see everything that's going on, so I know you're not blind to it. Some people are though. Like, it, it's not like they blind to it, it's like this shit don't affect me. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that shit really go like one. I, I you gotta realize like it's two different worlds. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they'll never understand it. But I think to be insensitive towards it really kind of show where you stand. Right. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to um, understand fully. Right. But I need you to be aware. You feel me? You need to know like when you're if you're gonna be associated with black people, if you're gonna be Teammates, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure your kids gonna have some black friends. You're gonna be father figures towards young black boys, then you're gonna have to understand. Right. See what right. I'm saying? I that, feel you. Yeah, and, and 
You know what I'm saying? Like I say, even with him coming out with giving that apology or whatever, man, that was a forced apology. Because you spoke from the heart from the beginning. How you how you say you would never respect, you know what I'm saying, anybody that, that disrespects the flag or kneels during the, the national anthem or anything like that. Man, you you missing a lot. I'm going to put it like that. You missing a whole hell of a lot. And even to go to the people, you know what I'm saying, as, as being Saint fans, to be like, accept that bullshit-ass apology and be like, oh, well, you know, he apologized about it. That part of our problem. We talked about that last week. We the most forgiving fucking race outside of forgiving our own selves. But look at what they do to us. Look at what they do. How much more forgiving can we do? I mean, sometimes it's, it's a call to arms. And that's why these, that's why these young, young people out here protesting like they are. And don't get me wrong, I'm all with the protest. We just had one down here in Jackson um, over the weekend. And I'm talking about turned our numbers. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm all with the protest. I'm all with the riding. I'm all with the rallies and everything. But it's also a time to where we need to put our heads together and start doing something for our own people to where we don't have to necessarily rely on them. We we rely on them too much. We rely on the oppressor too much to try to to try to help us get or or, or give us a, a, a foot ground to stand on. If they really down with us, like Nike coming out talking about that, you know they back in the Black Lives Matter. They donating. Everybody Black Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? Everybody everybody coming in and jumping on the movement right now. I tell you what, all you big Fortune 500 uh, corporations, if y'all really behind the movement. Let's break this pile up. Let's let's break this up and let's let's actually distribute the economic power like it's supposed to be. I think black people are gonna have to really understand what game we're playing. I think they got the wrong idea. Mm -hmm. Only because we taught ourselves so much. Mm -hmm. We feel like, you know what I'm saying, we can teach ourselves how to goddamn it get what we deserve but that would never happen because black people don't understand the game like it's like if i if i create a game and it's set up for me to win every time or i rig the game to where i'm gonna win every time why would i just be like okay now i'm gonna make it fair right for everybody no they're not finna relinquish the power come like on that. man it's just not it's just not possible it's right. not possible they ganged all this by what Shit, looting, stealing, by just pillaging. being wild, just by violence. If you think, you, if you want to be so motherfucking right, and you don't want to get violent, you just need to stay at home. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I like I say, man, violence, violence begets violence. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not like I said. I don't say go out here and antagonize nobody, but they got some antagonists out there. Like I'm watching a motherfucking. Um, a, a, a little protest that was happening. I forgot what city it was in. But, you know what I'm saying, it's a black dude walking around with a sign that say Black Lives Matter, and you got a line of white folks out there with rifles, shotguns, pistols, standing up against a fence, watching them walk down. Then as soon as they get to the end, they got two police officers sitting right there. The only reason them police, didn't, I mean, uh, them white folks didn't bust them guns right there because them two police that were down there. And then something that even pissed me off to even see, which I'm not, I'm not, Saying that it's not good police or whatever, whatever fuck all that shit is. Police is the police. But we walking by thanking them. But they the reason we in this shit. They the reason we protesting because you got the police that put their knee on the back of somebody else's neck and kill them. They, they know. They know that we will accept anything, bro. Like, this is what I'm getting at. We can be bought easily. It ain't even about that. We can just be... We just so used to making it. We so used to making a good situation out of bad shit that we always accept bad shit. Like, I'm gonna just take in the in the Constitution, right? That's what I'm saying. Look at what America is built on. Like, it's so many historians that just don't give a fuck about nothing but black history. But mm -hmm. how can, you gotta do some history on your opponent, right? You see what I'm saying? You gotta look at what America is built on. It's built on violence. Built on violence. Anybody that got a problem, anybody that don't want to do what America say do, what are we going to do? This throughout history. Yeah. They, like they, we gonna come, like you know what I'm saying. I had to make. I made an example the other day. Like you know what I'm saying. Doing Pearl Harbor, they got off. Yeah. 
But what did we do to them? She dropped a whole nuclear bomb on them. They ain't showing you how it's done. Okay, you gonna slap me? I'm finna, I'm finna cut your head off. There you go. So what the fuck are we not understanding? Like Barack Obama, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to look out. I don't want to come off as no Barack Obama basher because you know I'm a um, big supporter of Barack Obama. Okay. Because I feel like you know what I'm saying. He just would dip. He 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 made the best out of the cards he was dealt. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I can't do nothing but respect the man that do that. But he swore to defend and represent and represent a constitution that says he is three fifths of a man. Basically, like that should have been your agenda. Should have been to change that right then. Mm-hmm. Like that should have been your um. That should have been your 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 campaign statement. Right. The first thing I'm gonna do when I become president is change that bullshit. Yeah. And also look at Mississippi. It can go down. Look at local. Like look at the flag, bro. We sit and we accept that shit. Yeah. We accept to represent a state that has a representation of everything that's against you. Mm-hmm. Everything that was meant to harm you, to keep you down, to keep you oppressed. Yeah, you see what I'm saying, and we okay with it. Yeah. I don't understand. Like, it's 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 all it's all systematic. It, it's it, we've been it's been inbred within us since the slavery time. It's just like with Drew Brees talking about that. You know, what I'm saying he had forefathers that fought in wars and represented that flag. And but you what, what he failing to realize is black people fought in them wars too. World War One, World War Two. But we didn't come back to no heroes. Welcome welcome. Home. Nah, yeah. we came back into being back in the bondage. You know what I'm saying? It was like even in the American, I mean, the, the American Civil War, we helped fight that war to liberate this country. Not by choice. Was you know some 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 did if they were fighting with the North. I'm talking about with the South. Nah, if you were with the South, they would just put you out in the no, front and take the Even if you was, man, even if you was white, you had people that were that were runaways. You know what I'm saying? Like. Doing the war, they were like, hell no, nah, I ain't really mm. fucking with this shit. They were killing them folks. Yeah. If they caught you running away, you were just equal as a slave. Yeah. And that shit crazy because, um, you know, they had the Free State of Jones. You know about yeah. that shit. Yeah, I seen that movie. That shit real. Yeah, that's that was. did that shit for real. They independent. They, they became independent. Yeah, Jones County, Mississippi. And how did they do it? Shit. By force and defending themselves by enemies necessary. Yeah. They didn't do this shit by let's go to a damn uh, town hall meeting and goddamn let's just uh, weigh in the water. Yeah. Now they tried it uh, in that movie. Now they tried it. They tried to go vote. You know what I'm saying? Even even the um dude uh, I forgot. It was at the end. Yeah. Like, when they had already became independent, really. Yeah. I'm talking about at the beginning when they just said fuck it. Right. They just went to. Hey, everybody got a weapon. Yeah. You yeah. you girls too. Yeah. Everybody load up. You know what I'm saying, man? Like I say, I ain't, man. This shit, man, just it's still it's it's so frustrating. But we gotta find some type of solution, some type of way. And you know, one of the solutions that was given last week was we need to start. We we need to kind of get away from this shit, build our own little shit. And I, you know, I had a good friend of mine was like, well, you know what I'm saying? What if we did that? You know, they gonna do it just like they did Black Wall Street? Yeah. I wouldn't de- I wouldn't denounce that they wouldn't turn around there and take military action against our own people again because shit, Trump just did the shit last week where he wanted to call the military up. But at the end of the day, man, it's like we don't have to be in no one select area to build our own. We just do that shit in pockets. You know what I'm saying? It's like we, we come together as pockets. First thing first, we got to come together as people. You know what I'm saying? Like right now is the best time because we already together. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't I don't have no hate towards the one that's out there with us, black, white, Asian, Mexican, everybody that's out there. You know what I'm saying? But what they got versus what we got, they been had unity. Do they have infighting? Of course they do, but they infighting is not broadcast on fucking social media. It's not out here where every fucking feast fight we have got a world star. Some shit you gotta be able to handle out. And then guess what? You handle your business and y'all gone about y'all way. But them joining the fight help us a lot though. Yeah, it does. It does. I mean, it gives it notoriety. It ain't even that. It, 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 it gives us numbers, though. It gives us numbers. And always, if we can all come together, all the oppressed black, brown, 
And we all can come together for real, for real. Oh shit, we 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 got it. Hey, they can't do nothing but go to war with us at you that time because we got the numbers. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? We all just come together. You know, they're going to try to find more stipulations to keep you from getting your right for citizenship. They're going to try to come up with ways to try to take your papers and mm-hmm. shit like that. You know how they try to, you know how they fight. They fight yeah. dirty, you feel me? Yeah. But we already prepared. Like, don't go into no fight thinking these folks ain't going to get dirty, though. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And for these motherfuckers who hyping these folks up, thinking that, you know what I'm saying? They gonna do the right thing. They're not like. They don't go out there. Don't set nobody up and tell them. Oh, go out there and just peacefully, peacefully protest and not tell them that that's dangerous and be ready to defend yourself. Oh yeah, that's all I'm saying. If you take your ass out there, be ready to defend yourself at all times. At all costs. But now it's been so. It, it's so like. It's like a publicity stunt for everybody. If you want to be somebody right now, you know what I'm saying, just take your ass out there and take a picture. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I heard. I heard. Just take your ass out there and take a picture and you somebody. Yeah. You you, you support all the calls. Now. You feel me? And that shit, you know what I'm saying, that shit ain't going to get us nowhere. That shit ain't going to get us nowhere. Like it's, it's it's cool now. I love it. Yeah. I am loving it. I'm so proud of black people. Just the togetherness is really what's... Making me proud, it really was the fact that the fact that you know what I'm saying. Three, four years ago, we couldn't get a bunch of white people to say that a lot of things that's being said now. Right. We gotta look at it. I I I I like it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I fuck with it. Yeah. Because there's something that just I, I always used to say. That's all I want. Mm-hmm. If you don't if you don't give a fuck, that's cool. But don't act like you just don't know. Right. You see what I'm saying? Don't right. act like you just don't. See that Don't turn a blind eye To the shit <laughs> you know When you know saying? It's really happening You it, know what I'm saying ain't even, you don't, even, like, don't act like You don't even know The history Like if I'm an angry Black man Don't act like You don't understand Why I'm mad You yeah. feel me Just me being born black And I'm just Naturally mad yeah. You can't blame me yeah. Don't be like You should be over it Or uh, oh, you I hate another, that word. Or you just another Angry black man That's Nigga, See, don't I got, like you wouldn't be angry too, nigga. Right. I got reason to be angry, right. motherfucker. Well, I just look at, I, 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 all I got to do is look on the internet and see. All I got to do is look on the internet hell and no. see, motherfucker. <laughs> this, this, hold on. Hold, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, man. You got to take a shot. Hey, you got to go. You got to come on with it. Cause, what I say? Oh, I say, I man. stopped the body this motherfucker ball and this nigga ain't here. Oh man, you, come look, on with it. Cause look, you remember last time you said, you said, God damn it, no, you it, this shit rolling. Yeah, we going. Come this on, this shit rolling. Shit, I, just gotta, I just gotta get you the mic. I just shit. gotta get you my shit. Take this seat right here for a second. Let me get your mic. Uh-uh, no, I'm good. But yeah, but hell yeah, I, I need you here. Cause hey, I'm gonna switch the subject for my boy right here. Go ahead. I'm gonna switch it up for my boy right here just because I just want you to just say. Did LeBron not inspire Michael Jordan? Because of, oh shit. Did LeBron not inspire Michael Jordan? You see what Michael Jordan just did, right? Yeah. Let me, for the people who don't know, shout out to Michael Jordan. He had done nothing. Let me get my stuff together. <laughs> 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 hey. I don't think I'm lying. I, don't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I haven't eaten anything all day. What the hell you been doing? Mm. It's hectic time right by now. Hey, and we're gonna have hectic to switch time. up because I ain't used to being in the middle. It's all good. You, you feel me? It's all good. I am not used to being in the middle, but back to what I was saying. Um shout out to that boy Michael Jordan though. How you feel about that? That boy Michael Jordan, man. Bring your man. What, 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 what's, the, what's the topic? What are we talking about? No, this this the topic now. We're talking about Michael Jordan now just cause you walked in. Michael Jordan giving a hundred million dollars. You ain't heard about it? Yeah. Giving a hundred million dollars to social injustice and you know what I'm saying, the black pillars of the community. Like, you know, he I feel like let me go and put it out there and I'm gonna let you have it. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, LeBron, you know, he just dropped a little video about this is why I cannot shut up and dribble. Right. But that is exactly what Michael Jordan did his whole career. 
But it, it ain't no, it ain't, it ain't no bash for it because he probably would never been as big as he is today if he would have took a different route. I'm not saying. I'm just saying maybe it inspired him to just man, let me do something to help, bro. Right, right. Well, the thing about it is. I mean, you know they dropped the last dance. You know he got, he got a little backlash from that. Got a little backlash from that. But the thing about it is, <laughs> now we can sit back and say it, and I and I'll say it over and over again. When you that big of a mega star, and you see injustices taking place, and you refuse, not that you can't, not that you won't, mm-hmm. is you refuse to speak out on it. Yeah. I think that I think that makes you less than a man. Word? White man, black man, Mexican, whoever. If I see somebody, anybody, being mistreated, I gotta speak out. But I think it was I think to Michael Jordan to Michael Jordan's defense, I think it was a lot harder back then to do that because it's it's a lot easier now. I wouldn't say it was because a lot. Because a lot more people has used their voice. Yeah, but I wouldn't say it was a lot harder back then because you still had people like, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad, you know L- Louis Sander, Bill computer. Russell, you know what I'm saying, uh, Jim Brown. You know what I'm saying? Jim Brown quit the NFL behind this shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it was people that were speaking out back then. It just now, they got to the point to where they made it that, that basically the only way to get out of the hood is one or two things. Go to school or play some ball. You know what I'm saying, but now when you go to school, what you what they really what they ain't telling you is when you go to school is yeah, it's a prison it's 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 a it's a it's a school to prison pipeline. You dig know what I'm saying because they 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 want you to assimilate into a workforce that gives you what they call a job, which stands for just over broke because a job ain't gonna make you rich. That is not what job stands for. Just over you, broke. Don't put that bullshit out there for these folks to be thinking that shit. Man, man it's the Listen, truth. If you get you a job. Ain't nothing wrong with having no goddamn job. I ain't saying nothing wrong with it now. See what I'm saying? But I'm not against, you know what I'm saying? Having your own. Having your not even having your own, just doing what you want to do with your life. You know what I'm saying? If if a job is what you want to do with your life, then what you want to do? If you want to sing, dance, motherfucking shoot that jumper. Is that what you want to do with your life? If you want to read books, if you want to goddamn it be a drunk. I'm not against that shit. You see what I'm saying? Well, the reason I'm saying it like I'm saying it. I understand it why you're saying it. I would just put it, it, it out there like, job over broke, don't believe that. That's bullshit. Now, <laughs> and this is the thing. Everybody is talking about the NFL and, you know, uh, Roger Goodell came out. Yeah, your thoughts on that because we hit that already. Right, yeah, but, yeah, go made, ahead. They made the uh, – uh, backtrack on the NFL stance that we 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 was wrong. Mm-hmm. I mean, you 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 years and years too late. But I mean, I'm not gonna bash you, bash the NFL. You know why I say, not? I say uh, it's better than you know better, now than b- ever. Better better late than never. Better late than never. Disagree but with now, that statement wholeheartedly. But now the thing about it, is, everybody talking about that, but the NBA's. Hands are not clean either. Ain't none of them clean. You but missing, the, the NBA is way better than. But the listen, NBA. you missing, you missing. Uh, what the what the what the what the dude name for with the Bulls? The little skinny dude. Uh, used to shoot the threes. He played now. Hodges. Craig. Craig I know you're talking about. Oh, uh, I know Craig Hodges. About. They made a stance. Yeah, like uh, uh, my dude, I do Raul. Yeah. They got blackballed out the league. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? From and name Chris Jackson. Chris Jackson. They all got blackballed out the league. Because they would they would sit for the national anthem. Mm-hmm. That, that's what I'm saying. That's why, that's why I say like today is an easier time, especially for N- NBA players. Like I feel like if Michael Jordan was playing today, I think he would be more of a leader in that aspect. No. You know what I'm saying? I I believe so. I don't. Because he like I said, he was in in a time where this that shit came with consequences. You feel me? Yeah, but not. I was telling somebody the other night. And and I, and, I, and, I, and let me uh, add this to it because I don't want you to take away from what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Because I'm saying like the players now have more control, more power, thanks to LeBron James. LeBron James really empowered a lot of players when it came to really like and this is, having and a this, voice. And this is going. This is for saying sure, that for sure because the generation. Before us, you know what I'm saying, they did a lot. 
They took the sacrifice. They took the sacrifice. The generation that I'm in, we ain't did nothing. We ain't did jack. We just done had the luxury of sitting back and not having to do nothing. Right. And now the generation that's coming after us, they want to stand up. They they not taking it no more. So can I ask you a question there, uh, Mr. Generation that didn't do nothing? We could sit back. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't do shit. So are you saying that that was a problem, that you guys didn't do nothing? Yes. Okay. Elaborate on how it was a problem. Because you know you guys, a generation, are the all are, are the ones that's always like the youngins don't know nothing, and our ancestors did this for us to do it, and you still have been participating within the system that is systematically been keeping us down. Right, when when when, it, when anybody that say, and, and when anybody say that the youngsters don't know nothing, you know what I'm saying? That's cliche. You know what I'm saying? Your how parents m- told you that. Hey, how much you want for that? Or the piece of sound, <laughs> Yeah, that's a little good. I'm gonna lie. Go ahead, I ain't even gonna get the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, too. Boy, y'all stupid. Over the, um, you know, that's just more of a generational thing. It's not saying that they don't know nothing. You know, that's just, that's that's more cliche. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, of course, we know, and if they don't know nothing, then who fault is it? The one that come before them that didn't teach them. It just right. really just shit talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Motherfuckers just be talking shit. That's it. They don't really. They don't really mean. I'm. I'm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just taking this what I got from what Ted said. Young people, you know what I'm saying? Don't take it personal. They don't really mean you don't know shit, unless somebody really coming at you like you don't really know. You just shit. just hadn't lived enough life to know everything that you think you're supposed to know. I think some can, some can't. So when you say you ain't lived enough life, right? Yeah. Is it a situation to where they really haven't lived enough life, or are they actually just paying attention to the life that the ones before them have already lived, and they just not making those same mistakes, or don't want to make those same mistakes? When I say that. I'm just saying. Do you think at 16, 17 years old, you was ready to take on the responsibilities? You know, as a full fledged adult, did you know how to, you know? Pay bills or balance a checkbook or, you know, make sure your credit straight. Don't do dumb shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We all done did dumb shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, so that's what we're saying when we say that. It's not a knock on them because you're going to have to live and learn. Yeah, you got to live and learn, you but not what? Saying? But at what? the same time, that's why we'll say if you don't you don't know enough yet. Well, see, now that's where I be like, I tell her, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I will say this for a disclaimer. I don't have any kids at the moment. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, that's where I will fault the parents at because I'm like, yo, hey. I got five of them bad motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, what I'm saying? babysitters at my family. Go ahead. <laughs> but no, I'm like, yo, don't don't let your, don't let your you kids. You got five kids? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't let what your kids. Boy. Why did I be stressed out? Why did I come on these motherfuckers get drunk? Not shoot no blank. <laughs> <laughs> but now you know what I'm saying. I'm like, don't don't go out there and criticize your kids for bumping their head if you ain't gonna explain explain it to them wholeheartedly what you really got going on. Because what a lot of our parents will do is just do what I say, don't do what I do. Well, in that case, then you ain't telling me nothing because what you're saying to do and you doing a totally different thing. I'm watching what you do. That 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 statement there, I, I I I that shit just makes my ass itch. Now you know you got a hard head ass kid. That just that just that just how it is. Cause when I was young, I thought I knew everything. Back to the NFL though, cause I'm glad you're here. Dude, a lot of motherfuckers. <clears throat> I'm just I'm gonna throw some names out there. You know what I'm saying? Ray Lewis, Stephen A. Smith. Um, Jay Z, big, big, big Jay Z. Do these folks like old Kaepernick an apology? Yeah. Because let me just break it down a little bit. Um, Drew Brees has really lit a fire in this whole past couple of events. None of this happens without. Shout out to that whoever interviewed Drew Brees and asked him that question. Excuse me. 
I bet after that shit, Drew Brees was like, why the fuck this nigga asked me this motherfucking question? No, Shout out to him been, because he, 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 he... No, he, he, he has asked that... He's been asked that question before. Mm-hmm. That was his stance on it. I understand Ooh. it. But it was just, like I say, it was... It's the, it's the thing that lit a fire under everybody because the thing, he proved... The fire was lit because we can't believe that after all that has happened with George Floyd and all the protests and Kaepernick taking the knee, that you would still make that statement. We've been telling you it never has been about a flag. Mm-hmm. Never has been about disrespecting a flag. But you want us to stand up, be pa- just as patriotic as you, and the flag don't mean uh, or hadn't represented to me what it has represented for you. So, with that being said, the the statement Jay Z made, we beyond kneeling. We 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 did, we, we we done kneeling. We beyond kneeling. It don't seem like we kneeled enough. It don't seem like we need enough when you still got people that's either ignorant or blind to the fact. I, I think that, it's impossible. That's a that statement that Jay Z made. Do you know what that statement is? Represents this. What that I, and that's an elitist statement. You can say we're beyond kneeling because you got to see it at the table. Now you can I look. Wish we, I wish we can go back in time. Yeah. I swear, cause you. I'm also glad we started this podcast, cause we can just go back. <laughs> what? Did see, I? Did I? Did I, I just see that the shit that I be saying is right as a motherfucker. I mean, yeah. just go back and like it's like I'm telling them what's gonna happen in the future. Now I will say this now. In, in part, that's a that's a statement I can agree with, and I, I wholeheartedly disagree with it at the same time. You can't do both, not there. Yeah, you can because <laughs> you can't do. Let me let me let me explain why you God can do damn. both. Let me explain why you can do both. I disagree with it because in the in the fashion that he said it was like we're beyond nil and we need to move on past cap. I disagree with that. But I also agree with we are beyond nil and that's why we're riding and protesting at this moment. We're beyond uh, the kneeling nigga, part of it because nigga, now it's time first for a game, them niggas need to get on the ass. Them niggas need to sit down on their ass. Doing the national anthem because until we need to put pressure on their ass until they start living with the fuck they say. Like I, like I made this. Well, up. now I know I, I do see what you're saying, Terrence. Yeah. Now, in in some respects, we should be beyond kneeling. What is kneeling getting us? We need to be at the point where we are changing policies, putting policies in place to stop this socioeconomic uh, bombardment that we have been up under see, as a race. And that's what we make the mistake at. You see what I'm saying? Kaepernick has proven that we ain't even at step one. We're trying to get to step five, six, and seven, and we ain't at step one. Remember what we talked about when we talked about reparations? No. We, we already at reparations when we ain't even at step one. We don't even know These what we want for reparations. Even, not even that. These folks can't even look you in your eye and say, you right, I'm wrong. Well, because they got power. They're not going to relinquish power. We were talking about that earlier. But, but this is what I'm yeah. saying. So you got to get to that point first. Before I, before I reparate you for anything, I want to know that, okay, I okay, I did you wrong. If I hit your car and you want your money, I'm going to pay because I feel like, if I feel like I ain't did no wrong, I ain't going to pay you. Well, see, I mean, but now that's all. That's, that's, that's one thing to say it like that, right? But it's another thing when I be like, okay, you ain't going to pay me, watch me take it. That we're not. We're definitely not there yet. Nah, we could See be. See what I'm saying, y'all. You, you, we ain't even. Well, y'all, you way in step. You at the, you at the finish line. You already. I ain't at, I ain't at the finish line. Yet. Shit. Nah, I ain't at the finish line. I'm setting up to get to the finish line when I say I'm gonna take it. Because when I say I'm gonna take it, now I gotta take the necessary steps to get to where I need to to but, be able but, to take but it. But back to my original point, you know what I'm saying? When I say back to Kaepernick, you know what I'm saying? Like he showed us that we're not even at step one because it still shows that. Motherfuckers still can't see. You see what I'm saying, motherfuckers? You can't, you can't, you can't change no policies with a motherfucker who don't even see your struggle. I would agree with that. They don't I, even it, see your struggle. I would agree. Like, they, we, it, 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 we thought we had, we thought because we're aware that they are aware. You see what I'm saying? But it shows that they're not. And what? Kaepernick is proven, like, just because the black community is aware, we ready to move on three, four, five because we we been aware. We know what's going on, but they do not, bro. They they are they aware. Do not, they bro. don't care. That That's shit the does thing. not affect them. That shit, it ain't, it, that shit goes in one ear out the other. That wants, this is what one of my Facebook 
friend posted the other day, and I, I thought I would read and see what y'all thoughts were on this. They said it's time for the protesting to stop. Go home, people. Let George Floyd rest in peace. No. Now let's wait on due process. No. Because we just had a, a situation today where they gave the motherfucker, initial motherfucker that was kneeling on his neck, a million dollars, me was like a, between like a million, million half dollar bond. And then the other three motherfuckers, they gave them a bond so low that they was actually even the bond out. My thing is the system and the justice system is already fucked up. So why would I wait on due process? Due process don't do me shit. And, and this is what I'm saying. If you, you agree with it. Hell no. So how can you agree with Jay-Z saying we be on fucking kneeling? That's the I same no, no, thing. No, 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 no. No, no. I didn't agree with I didn't agree. I said that if you're gonna if you're gonna take that statement in the context that he was using it, you know what I'm saying? You don't agree with that. Then I don't agree. But now are we or should we be beyond kneeling? Yeah. Hell yeah. Because it's we 2020. At that, we at that point now. We shouldn't even be having a kneel period. We tired. That's why we okay, tying shit but, up. Well, okay, what's the difference? We shouldn't even have to be riding in the street. But we this is what I'm saying. We we ain't even past that dick. We still protest. Well, protesting Cal in the street. Kneeling is not we we we, we calling it one thing, but let's just call it what it really is. We just call it kneeling. This is a protest. What are motherfuckers doing right now? They protest. We, we we still there. Absolutely. We ain't that. We ain't past. We doing feel the like, same shit. I feel like we were doing four years ago. What's that? I feel like the, I feel like this protest really in its day what 12, 13? something like that. Uh, uh, since the senseless murder of an unarmed black man. Another one. The, the lynching uh, of an unarmed another one, black man. Another one. When you say that, you and I use feel another. like I feel like the protests are just getting started. Yeah, I feel like we need to keep pushing. We need to keep going but it, until we see absolute change in the has, system. Everybody always say, "How do you? What's the solution? Get to, equal? What's the what's the solution? Right. Now you got lawmakers that are putting policies in place to. Not an uh, internal investigation of a of a of a police uh, killing, but an external. They talking about defunding the police department, and people don't get your draws on the wire when somebody say defunding the police. That's not saying you're going to take away police. No, because we pay police. That's saying we pay the money. That's saying uh, demilitarize. They yeah. don't need all these dead gum uh military weapons Tanks. on your own citizens. Yeah. Like we in dead gum a third world or uh, a war torn country. You don't need that. That's overkill. Well, I, I would say this now too, just as far as bringing it up, like as far as the defunding of the military. Or, or I mean or the police officers. <laughs> they not finna let that shit happen. You know what? They, it's just like all these people out here protesting right now, walking up the streets and doing that right now. If you notice, you don't have a whole lot of police activity going on with the protesters. That and, and I'm gonna just be honest, like, cause I'm gonna just, I ain't gonna play devil's advocate. I'm gonna just be honest. Uh huh. And the reason why that should have never happened because this is just not realistic. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They gotta, be, you gotta realize if they just, you gotta realize niggas in the street got military weapons. Niggas in the street True. got grenades and motherfucking rocket launchers. That's in the street. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So she if they <laughs> just imagine Just just imagine come on, man. Just imagine this should never happen. Hey, hold on, let me put it like this. Just imagine the baddest man alive protecting the motherfucking hood. Hey man, I'm the baddest motherfucker walking. Hey, cuz you ain't gonna steal that motherfucking shit out of this store, cuz cause if you steal that shit out of this store, hey, I'm on your ass. And now all of a sudden you got an AR-15. You now you police in your own neighborhood because you got an AR-15 and you've been deputized at that moment. You I'm can't a, get niggas that much power like no, that. No, it ain't even that. Niggas don't give a fuck enough. Like we, 
You know how we brought up. You know what I'm saying? We brought up the mind your own goddamn business, cuz. Right. You know what I'm saying? With so-and-so, with, with so-and-so, with so-and-so, with them guys going on, they have. That they have. I ain't gonna go down there and tell them what the fuck to do and what not to do. And they, you grown, goddammit. And that's just the black mentality. That's why I can't understand how black people really kind of be police. Like, I had a, I had an incident last week with a black police officer, and I was ashamed. I was ashamed, bro. Like, he gave me, he gave me, honestly, hell for no reason because he just kept saying one thing. I'm the police. I'm the, he like, he really wanted me to know he was the police. But see, the thing, about, shit it, the thing about it is, you know, you got, I think you got a lot of police that are just overly aggressive. Uh, use that aggression and power, you know what I'm saying, wrong, for lack of a better word. But now you do have, you know, officers that are good. We all know that. But the thing about it is, if you got a police officer that's rogue and doing something, you know, my whole thing is the other officer that don't correct that behavior, you know what I'm saying, it means you going along with it. I mean, you and in now, line. Blue now, protect now, brew. I blue protect both, brew. I and now, and now another in thing, the what, what, what should happen is, they shouldn't. It shouldn't even be police officers. I heard somebody say they Nick are supposed Cannon. to be peace officers. Nick Cannon said that they're supposed to be peace officers. So if you a police officer, now you upholding a what policy? But now if you as a peace officer, you your uphold. main thing is to uphold the peace. I don't know if you. I don't know if y'all watch westerns, but uh, it's just like the movie. Um, it's, it's two of them behind it. Tombstone, Wide Earth. Wide Earth was a peace officer. Mm -hmm. If you watch the movie Tombstone, he said, I only took, in all of my years of being a peace officer, I only took one man's life. And that was because it was basically a, 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 a gun, a shootout at, at sundown, basically. And he like, you don't want to know how it feels. You don't ever want to know how that feels. That's when his, his two brothers had signed up to be uh, officers within the town of Tombstone. So there's a difference between peace officers. All you do is you keep the peace in the town. You see, a, you see a dispute going on, you go in and you keep the peace. You don't antagonize the situation that's going on, and that's what the police officers do now. They antagonize the situation. Because if you have a situation between you and your girl, police get called out there for you and your girl. The first thing that happens is they don't come up and say, hey, what's the problem? They come in. Hey, sir, bag up. Get over here. Man, man, man. See what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You sp that's what happens. Yeah, when yeah, that's yeah. the first thing somebody do to you, and they don't come to you and respect you right. like a man or a human being, then I tell people all the time, this is why I don't get out of my car. Because if I get out of my car, you're going to want to touch me. I don't like being touched. Not by somebody I don't know. Why you need to touch me? Do I? I'm not posing you no. Know, I know police have a dangerous job, but you put more into it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. if, if I think if I'm scared of you, they, them folks not scared of us, bro. Because that's, that's the case, an excuse. If that's the case, why he? You ain't even doing shit. So what the fuck you pull me over anyway if you scared of me? But what I'm saying, I'm if, not even doing I, shit. You boost, fucking with me? If right. I boost you my, fucking with me? If right. I boost myself up enough, I'm just telling you. Okay, let me ask both of y'all a question. What you got? And I want y'all to be as realistic and honest as possible because, like, you know what I'm saying? All that just, I just, I just want to just pick y'all brains for just a little segment, real quick. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm going to start with you. I'm going to ask the question to both of y'all, but I want you to start off. Because I want to say Ted for last, because I know he ain't going to say something that's all off the wall. <laughs> okay, can you honestly and realistically see this, you know, us coexisting, us actually being equal? Do you see that happening and... If you do, how? And if you don't, why? My honest opinion 
equality would never happen between the races. Not to its totality. And the reason it's not going to happen is because the people that are in power are not going to relinquish the power willingly. The only way you will actually get equality as it comes through is you got to take it. Otherwise, you can stop asking because they're not going to give it. That's like me. I'm ruling my own house. <clears throat> my house is my, my castle. And if I got eminent domain over my castle, you think I'm going to relinquish that just to let somebody else come in and say that they could do this and do that? No, I'm not going to do that. But like I said earlier, why do we even want to be equal? See what I'm saying? Why wouldn't we want to be better at the top? You see what I'm saying? We want to be, I think we've been going there looking at it wrong the whole time. We want to be equal. You see what I'm saying? And it just don't work like that. Well, but let me get, um, go ahead, tell you. Go ahead. I, 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 we'll come back. I think that anything that has taken so long to put in place uh, as far as the unequal treatment of, and the systematic racism that we have had to endure. Now, the thing about it is, can it ever be totally equal? Only time will tell. But my thoughts on it is, it won't happen because we are trying to push equality on them. It'll only happen when they start teaching that there's that they are not superior. That uh, racism is a taught <clears throat> behavior. Yeah. You don't come up thinking you're racist, and now. You can you can have white friends in school, or things of that nature or on a job, but at some point, when they go over here, and you over here, they look at you a little bit differently. And why is that? Because they have been taught. They've been taught that. Have you ever heard a, a white person tell you, "Oh, I like you. You all right. You you's a good one." Yeah, I mean, but it, it, let me let me break it down. That's racist within itself. It, 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 it's not racist because that's just. A, I think that's a natural human instinct. You see what I'm saying? If you look at if you look at the history of not just racism not, is a natural human instinct. No, no. Listen, hold on. No, that 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 behavior that you just named. I mean, that you just gave an example of is a natural human instinct. Let me and, and check me out, and I want y'all to listen. Because I know that sounds fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> if you look at human nature and the history of human nature, right, you can have two tribes. You see what I'm saying? You can have two tribes that never, ever seen each other before. Mm. The first time they see each other, what do you think it's going to be? Okay, let's just say, okay, you got a tribe right here and a tribe right here, and they hunt right here to feed their family, right? Mm. And one day they meet up. Mm-hmm. How you think it's gonna go? Of natural reaction, they're gonna observe one another. They're gonna be like, for one, they probably not gonna be able to communicate with each other. Could we're be. just going off natural instinct. Now let me go to modern day. You see what I'm saying? We could just take us black people, right? Let's say, I ain't gonna say modern day like as today. I'm gonna say modern day. Let's say 70s, 80s when people were really in their neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like black people was really in their neighborhood, like. We really didn't leave our leave our neighborhood for too much. You see what I'm saying? Let's go back to that. Cause we that have we ain't have to at that time. Okay, see what I'm saying? Okay, John John from this other neighborhood. You ain't never seen John John before. Just come walking through your motherfucking neighborhood. What's the natural goddamn reaction? Back then versus now? I'm just saying, just not even back, not even back then. Or now, I'm just saying, just natural, like anytime. Like I mean, of course even you today you're gonna you, be like. You, you gonna ask who that is because you don't is. know who that is. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't no. But it's not. It, it's not gonna be no. Howdy! This is how it is over here. Let me give you a tour type shit. It's gonna be more like, hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't. If you ain't but really no, from my. If no. you ain't really from my hill, but, but that's you don't not really need to be out here but, like that. But but deep. But that's not. That's that's, that's not natural. That's, natural. But, that's natural because guess but, what? But that's that's tight. That, that, no, that, that may you, be natural, but that's not. Hold on, time out, time out. But that's not. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. That's just like a damn dog. I'm gonna go down to a fucking dog. 
they marked their goddamn territory. It's not that it, it's not it's not that I'm mad at Judah person. It's just this is my territory. You see what I'm saying? And most people feel like they want to be in control, or at least especially that's just like a nigga you don't know just walking your house. You ain't gonna be just like welcome to that nigga if he just walking that bitch and you don't know him. You gonna be like, hey nigga, what the fuck? Because it ain't it ain't nothing against you. It just this is my territory, fam. And that's kind of how they is too. That's how it was when they see a nigga walking to their territory. Like, the, the, the motherfucker. We be like that when the white motherfucker come to our motherfucking neighborhood. Hold on, somebody, what the hell going on? It ain't just, it ain't just like I say. A but very, you hadn't, but you hadn't jumped in your vehicle, chased the white guy down. Like, I mean, I, would, I really didn't go into in specifics. Street. Right. I was just really shot just, him dead. I mean, I get where you coming from. You may be like, hey, what's up? You looking yeah. for somebody? Yeah. You need something? But I'm basically, up, I'm up but, like, but, I'm but, up but if like, I'm that type of nigga, that be like, nigga, I don't need you asking me what the fuck I need. Okay, then. I'm, I thought they were free. That's how black people be. I think this is a free country. I can walk and go wherever the fuck I want to go. You shouldn't be coming up to me asking me shit. You shouldn't. And guess what? It's a problem. Uh, well, it's I a, mean, is that going to be a problem, you, right? Problem. Now, if you so come out of my book like that, yeah. How you, if because you, are you not going to defend yourself? If I check myself, you like this. Defend myself. If, if I come to your neighborhood, you be like, hey, buddy, what you need? Nigga, I don't need you. I'm, it's free. I can walk wherever I want to go. Okay. So you ain't going to defend yourself? I no. gotta just check you no. in your own neighborhood. No. Why in your fucking house? Everybody watching you? No. You crazy in here. Not what his name is? The baddest motherfucker <laughs> world. The baddest motherfucker. The baddest motherfucker, motherfucker alive. Man, <laughs> hey, the thing, no, I mean, uh, not, I know he thing, ain't gonna do that. Thing, thing. It is a situation like this right here. Now, if you disrespectful, then I may check you on your disrespect. But I don't have to necessarily defend myself because you have not done nothing to me. And that's the mentality that we have as black people that we feel like we always got a point to prove. We got to bristle up and bristle up when somebody come around we don't know to try to prove a point. You don't have to because your character is going to tell who you are. Motherfucker can tell who you are when they walk up on you. If you standing there and you proud, hell, motherfucker could, it, it, back in the 70s, motherfucker could tell just how much of a man you were by the way you shook hands. If you had that little that's soft ass group. That's why a lot of motherfuckers got fucked off. <laughs> you thought this nigga was a real nigga. I mean, it's not that. It's going off a head. But, 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 yeah, but, yeah. but the thing about it is, I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, we we get so we get so caught up in, in, in these territories and, you know what I'm saying, it's my hood, it's my block. Of course, you, you, you know, to me, only thing I'm doing is if I'm out and I'm watching, then I'm looking out for my neighborhood, my neighbors. Trying to see if anything suspicious going on. A guy just walking through, that's really not suspicious to me. Right. Even if I even if I don't know who he is. Right. I ain't gonna just walk no, I ain't, up. I ain't gonna just walk up to him and be like, oh, what you doing? Like, but now if you in my yard, that's different. Now, I, I may say, hey, okay, let's just kinda like old boy did um them them cats down in Atlanta did the baby. When he was down there shooting that video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talking about you gotta sign a permission slip to be up in here. Nah, that's that different. That's just that's just some different shit. I'm saying like Somebody of different, right? Let's say we're in the all, you know what I'm saying? Different because, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to put your business out there, but you don't stay in the all black community. Let's just say you stay in an all black motherfucking neighborhood. You see what I'm saying? I have. All, I, 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 exactly. Go back to that time when you stay in an all black motherfucking community and don't know white people come through here, period. And a white boy just come walking down the street. Motherfuckers ain't gonna look at him crazy or go try to see what the hell he, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what, and that's just natural. We, we, that's how it was with us. That's how it was with us. Why we? Go, when, you that's that, that's what they doing now. You why you think? Why you think they stop us for no motherfucking reason when we go to mass? They trying to figure out. Hey, they ain't. They trying to figure out. What the fuck, Ben? You got going you on? You belong here. Where you, you see, going? What, what Where you, you going? Why you think when you go to motherfucking Pearl, they gonna pull your ass off for no reason if you different? Where you going? Well, see what I'm saying. This this just natural human behavior. Well, that no, that's natural police behavior because we had this conversation one Who time. Calling the police? Okay, the police didn't do it. You don't think the motherfuckers would be calling the police, saying, "Oh, see, so is, and so see, ride down the see, street see, with the speakers bumping." But see, well, this, now that's causing a disturbance. Just this to be really ain't because I hear that shit all day. Don't but disturb not, me. But, but now watch this. That's, see, that's a double standard too. Me. Hold on, let me let me give you the double standard on this because we have a system. And we get a, 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 a public noise violation for a system, but they don't get a public noise violation for them loud ass pipes they have on their truck. You see what I'm saying? Now, that 
what you would, that is something that you would call a double standard. But in the same aspect, both of them are disturbing the peace. Because if I got a goddamn, if you match the gas and your shit sound like you got them cutting a the fucking tree down, that's disturbing the peace. But now you don't get a ticket for that. But I get a ticket because I got some tins in but the back see, of my truck. See, this is, this, because you that, can't turn your pipe down. But see, this. But you can put. You cannot put them bitches on there either. <laughs> but see, this. This is. This is. This you is, cannot put the spinners there. Yeah, but, but, but look, this is. This is. I think this is why we're protesting for the racial profiler. You know what I'm saying? So there can be. So there can is be it some really a racial profiler. It is. So there can be territorial profile. No, it's racial because if you got a police department and you, and you pulling over. Eighty-five percent of your stops is black people. That's that, racial profile. That's profiling. racial profile. But this There's what no I'm saying. Okay, 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 let me um, let me um. So the only thing I, I, I agree, say, I agree. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get saying, my mind look, to think. I'm you not saying, saying don't stop me. I'm not saying don't stop me. If you feel like I I need to be stopped, or I'm breaking the law, or I feel a description. Whoa! But Whoa. I disagree with that statement. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm sure no, when I, I no, I, don't let, stop me. No, let me. <laughs> let, I might no, got some dope in here. I ain't, no, I ain't did shit. No, let me let me change that. Not fit. Oh, if, you might have been drinking, but you hold ain't up, did hold shit. Hold up, if my car fits a description, don't stop me either, goddamn. <laughs> I still don't want to be stopped, but I don't think I ain't. Look, I don't want to be stopped, but what I'm saying is, stop just as many white people. That you stop black people, cause the statistics is going to pan out that whites commit just as many crimes, if not more, than black people. Yeah. So if you if don't look at me like I'm just a a criminal. That's they criminalized the black man to the point where you know what I'm saying it's just frustrating. You got dehumanization first for it. Just first for the uh, for the first part of the whole conversation, we have been dehumanized from the beginning. We're not human. We've been, we're, we're we're property. You know what I'm saying? And then all, now all of a sudden, once we fight for the rights to become equal or e equality rights, now they criminalize us. Black folks, your first black president that everybody liked to call was one of the ones that signed in a bill that that locked up the most black folks. No, he did. No, 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 no. He did. No, no, no. Not Barack Obama. Oh, about, oh. No, no, no. I'm talking about Bill, Bill Clinton. Clinton. Okay, I'll say it's a fat chick to yeah, shit. Yeah, I, you hear what I say now? The first one they say was the first black president. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He signed in a bill. Why you think motherfuckers was talking about don't vote for Hillary? Don't vote for Hillary because super she was right there. But at the same time, yeah, call her super predators. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what was it? Was it Nancy Reagan that started the DARE program? Yeah, something uh -huh. like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the D.A.R.E. program was started to be against drugs. Where was your most drug? Uh, where, where was your most drug being distributed at that time? It was really white communities, but it was patronized more in the black communities. They would say that it was more dope being sold than being used in the black community because they were selling something what they would call crack versus cocaine. Where now, if you got five rocks of goddamn co uh, crack, that's five year per rock. And the disparity in sentencing, and the and from the crack to this opioid right. epidemic. Now, now it's opioids. It's a crisis. We we need help for the opioid victims. But when did, when did y'all come to the black community and say we need help for the crack victims? Throw Sp them in jail. Think think about it like this: thirty Co years for a rock. I'm talking about one rock because you got a rock and a pistol. You know what I'm saying? That's what we talking about for is injustices. Inequality. We already know that the economic system is not going to be equal because they're not going to let it go. Before, I, mean, I, I say this to this day, before they give us reparation, they'll crash the fucking dollar. They'll crash that motherfucker before they decide to give us. Oh, I think it was uh, the founder of the uh, BET. He just asked for 14 trees in reparations. He said, that's the number we need. Guess what? You think they're going to give us $14 trillion for reparations? They'll tell you your dollar ain't no good. Them motherfuckers will take a wood chip and say this the new currency before they give you that shit. You're crazy as hell. Because one thing they know about you're going to put it right into the economy. You're going to put it right into the economy. Them folks, this shit ain't 14 trillion, man. That shit ain't nothing. Them folks got infinity. In, <laughs> infinity. Well, print this shit up. 
I think I do it press print. <laughs> Man, fourteen trillion. That's just. I mean, I don't, that's just. That sounds like the defense budget. <laughs> but I'm just telling you, that's what. That's what. Folks shooting, shooting, shooting rockets to outer space. How much you think that is? On, that ain't hey, shit. How I ain't much, how, just for they, a test. Just for a test. This ain't even <laughs> but billions. See, you know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you what 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 Hundreds was asked. Of billions. So now let me. But then we you. feel like reparations is. It's out of reach for us. No, it's not. It's, no, I'm, it I'm not. Be. I'm not saying that it's out of reach. What I'm saying is, by the time that you get it, or even if you do get it, think about it. They actually gave us reparation. They relinquished power doing it. In the simple fact of now, you have enough to create for your own. The only thing I'm saying is, right now, the climate is right for us to ask for every goddamn thing we need. The climate is right now for us to actually take over everything that we need. The climate is right. Just like I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna give you something. It's right. Because this is why I can't. These niggas not like don't don't. I love everything that's going on. I do. I mean, I love all the protests, but that's not that's not that's not like at like like if this if this shit get real, them same motherfuckers gonna be out there. Cause you got a lot of people out there just for publicity. Yeah, you I, got I agree with that point. A lot of point. people out there that just out there to take a picture and, and say it. I was out there. You see what I'm saying? Because don't think that we. The time is not now. But I'm just. I'm it just, ain't, it I'm, ain't time I'm, yet I'm because a, I'm gonna say it like this. Ain't serious for real. I'm gonna say they're it like they're doing it. They're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, they're I'm doing gonna, it, but they're doing it just to. I'm gonna say it be like, a part of the trend. I'm, it's I'm, trending right now. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yeah. it like this. It's a new IG. I'm gonna say it like this. this. Whether does. whether it's trending or not, and the reason why I say the climate is right, because right now, you have people that are out in the streets that are protesting. And it's not just black. It's not you, you got everybody. You got black, white, brown. You True. got people it, from from Idaho to Washington to Japan, Germany, Korea. They Korea. Yeah. That's what everybody. I, I, I agree with that. I, I love mean, that. this is a worldwide movement shit. right now. So they it, have man. to recognize what's going on. This cannot get swept under the roof. Mm-mm. So let me ask you a question, Taylor. I agree with that now. Since you since you listened to the show shit. last week, I want to ask you a question. Do you agree with the statement that it's not excuse me, it's not blacks versus whites, but it's everybody versus races? Do you agree with that statement? Okay, let, what's the definition of a, okay. of a racist? Hold on, first of all, for you for you yesterday, I don't mean to cut you off. What's the definition of a racist? A racist because. You know what I'm saying? Let's I, just go to a strict definition of a race. A race I'm going to give you the rip. I'm going to ra- give you. Racism is. And, if, if, and, and after you say the definition, ask yourself if you fit the description. Who? Who, me? The, yeah, it, but it's, no, no. It's, black, I, black people cannot be racist. I know, we're going to go off the left real quick. Hold on. Here black you go. people cannot it be racist. It says. how you feel. Hold on. Okay. All right. It is the belief that groups of human. Humans possess different behavioral traits corresponding to physical appearance and can be divo- and can be divided based on the superiority of one race over another. Do you give believe me, that no, we no, different? No, 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 no. Do give you me, believe that we give different? Me, give me the definition of racism. Do you believe that we different? That was actually both of them. It actually was racist slash racism. That gave, that was the definition. That's not that, that that's the belief, a racist is just the an individual that, person. The belief that the right. The, but the racism racist, is what racism, I just read. Racism is is uh uh-uh, here you go. The systematic uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, there go. is the belief that groups of humans possess different behavioral traits. Let's start right there. Do you believe that? Do you believe that the groups of human that different groups of humans possess different behavioral traits? Yes. Because racism is taught. I'm saying do you believe that? Yeah. Okay, not, 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 we're that's talking a, about a, behavioral traits. Yeah. Do you believe has, Right, 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 right. Bam, well, bam, bam. I ain't gonna say just groups of people because everybody have pretty much the same behaviors. It just depends on the situation. When you hungry, you eat. When you sleep, you sleep. Right. When you get that's, mad, you you you. That's just normal behavior. We talking about is it something different between a way a a black people a black, a black people person eat versus and, white people eat? Oh, oh no. not even eat. I'm talking about is there is there a difference? That's between, the belief. Right, the belief the, of it is different. That, that's what I'm saying. Do you believe? That's what I'm asking. You, do you believe that black people act different from Chinese people? That black people act different from um, we act different from um, Mexican people? 
Are we not? Do we not have different behavior traits? Culturally, everybody is different. That's everybody. not. That's not, culture is not into it. But, but, but it's it, behavior. It, it, is it not? But, 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 but culture is a part on, of, of behavior. Unlock your phone. Let, let me go. Let me keep going. It's it, just the first part of the definition. Corresponding to physical appearance. I mean, no. And we, and can be divided based on the superior of one race over another. No. Is that not what the fuck we going? Do but, you? But okay, because I see I, I, I see like black that. people say all the time that. We above them, like nigga, we, we, we're better than we them. We're king. We that better is than actually them. We better than them. So are we not? If we if we if we believe in it, then we're racist too. <laughs> no, you're not. So when you say racist against everybody, well, I say define racist first. You can't be, you but can't, now that's the statement before, that that's been out. You put a you can't be you can't you can't be racist unless you have the economic and the judicial. And all these other powers over another race, and feel like you are superior because you yield that power. Okay, I see over you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me get, get yours, and you, I'm gonna break it down. I see you trying to talk yourself around the truth. You see what I'm saying? That's just call a spade a spade, and just be honest, but accept what it is. You feel me? We are racist, but we really didn't have a choice. We didn't have a choice based on what the fuck we'd have been through. It was. They decision to put us through that shit. You know what I'm saying? We don't like them. Let's just be honest. Don't try to sit like and don't sit don't sit don't sit and trick don't don't try to sit and act like we different because we the one oppressed. You feel me? We don't like them just as much as they don't like us. But the difference between us and them, we didn't have a choice. They got the power and we don't. We we couldn't wake up and say, um, uh, I'm gonna try to like white people today. No, it's just automatic from the door based on what the fuck y'all motherfuckers put us through. It's impossible for me not to have some type of um, dislike yeah. about you. You see what I'm saying? So let's not, let's not, we are racist. Let's just be honest. That's some real shit right there. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not proud of that, but I didn't have a choice. But now, let's break I down. Was, y'all did this. Y'all, y'all made this bucket. Yeah, you, see what you know what I'm saying? You put me in the barrel. You put me in this position to not like you. And then, based on what you did to me, what you did to my grandparents, what you did to my parents, what you did to my great-great-great-great-great-great-grandparents. But, but it has nothing to do with their color. What? Let's break it down. It has nothing to do with their color. Let's break it down. Right? Racism is based on you looking at me as being inferior strictly because of the color of my skin. Cortez. That's no, no, racism. It's, it's, exactly. But the color of your now, skin. Now, you don't. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Hold on. You no, 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 no. You're not going to do that. You dislike them. You dislike them because uh-uh. of. You your, dislike your them. Your motherfucking skin color puts you in a different position as me. We're supposed to be equal, right? But the fact that you're white and that I'm black and I can't help it puts you in a different position. It's not your color. It's a, but but, but you, it is your color. But you said you didn't You like as them. a white boy Hold up. has a you are you, you are got a certain privilege you I don't in have. a different it, position. We understand that, but, it, but, it ain't but, about your color. It's about it, but it is. But mm-hmm. the thing the thing the thing what what I'm saying is is you are mad at them because of the way they have treated you, not just because of their color. You ain't just going out here saying, "Oh, I don't like you cuz you white." Right. You 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 disliking them you because disliking of the way that the white people tra- what, treated you. Uh, what, them, what, what, what co- but it does because just the fact that them waking, just the simple fact of them being born white puts them in a different position. You see what I'm saying? It puts them in a different position just hate, because you, of color. But do you hate? Just, them no, no, time out, time out. Hold on now. But do you hate their color or do you hate what they did to you? It it, it don't matter. It is it, it, it ain't that I hate That's the color. The, I cannot hate a color. But you are white, but see, and you being born a color, it ain't your color because I'm not mad. I, it ain't like I see white and get mad. That's not it. The fact that you were born white, though, not if you were born brown, it'd be different. That's what I'm saying. It is color because of, if just the simple fact, that's the simple thing of a motherfucker being born white, born black makes just that much difference. But it shouldn't even make that much of a difference, huh? But it does. So it, let's let's break this saying? down. Let's break so this how down. How can it not be the color? How can it not be the color when the color makes that much of a difference? But let's break this down right here. Let's break it down. First thing first, if you identify yourself as a color, you are you are not identifying yourself as a person. If you go into the Black Laws fourth edition fourth edition dictionary, you are not a color 
You are not a person if you identify yourself as a color. That's why you can't say that you're black, you're white. That's why they identify as Caucasian. We identify as African American. Okay. We're still not identifying ourselves as a person because we identify ourselves as two different descents, African and American. You can't be both. You got to be one or the other. So they don't give us that luxury. This is saying, the law you, game. Before but you now, even hold on. get a chance to classify yourself. No, before you already you classified get, once you're born. Before you even get that chance, the, 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 just, the, just the, the pigment of your skin, just that makes a difference. Before you even get a chance to say, hey, bro, I'm not even black. I'm not even African-American. Before you even get a chance to even know that, before you as a child even know what you are, the fact that you was born a color makes a difference. So how is it not about the color? But now you did just make the statement and say that you didn't hate them because of their color. It, no, I'm saying it ain't. I ain't say that. I, I'm not saying it as a, in the net sense. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it as the color white does not make me mad. But the it, color it, black it makes them mad. It, no, it ain't that. It ain't that. It just makes a difference. It makes a difference because of history and the way they were taught. Not they were taught, just the actions. It ain't what they were taught, just the actions, the things that they have done. Or let me say, not necessarily taught, learn behavior. Just the things that, it ain't about to learn behavior, the shit they did way before they, while they were learning the behavior. Before they even learned it to teach down, the shit they were doing way back then, even before us. Even before Africa. Mm -hmm. It was... Other races, you see what I'm saying? Even before, Africa is not the original name of Africa. It was actually called Ephrikia, if you go back into the history books. But at the same time, it's like this right here. There's no such thing as a race when it comes to people. A race is a competition between one another. That's why when you look up the definition of racism, it says behavioral traits based on superiority over one or the other. If you really look at it, if I'm the fastest human being, that means I'm superior over the others because I'm faster because I'm in a race with them. I'm in something with them. That's what race is. So we're not really race. We're humans. That's why I used the word earlier, dehumanizing. They have dehumanized us. When they say that we're three-fifths of a human being, they took two of the three-fifths away from us, which was our religion. And our culture. They took that away from us, which made us three fifths of a human being. Well, I kind of don't agree with that because, like, I, back when I was saying about natural human behavior, you see what I'm saying? And I think, if it went, and if I it, think what happens too, I think you get a lot of bitterness. Whenever you get somebody that can run over a crowd of people or or push an old person down push and bust their head. Down or do, do things like that. Now, this is this is the key. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are upset because they have gotten a 400-year head start. And on top of that, white privilege. And they ain't did nothing with it. Right. That they would have to look at a black man that's more successful than them. And they had all the advantages throughout history. But them the people that don't even pose a threat. The people that really pose a threat is the ones above us. You see oh, what I'm no. Oh, no. Them motherfuckers oh, that don't even pose oh, no threat. Oh, no. They, they, are, the, they are the ones that run it. But check this out. This is this is what happened. And, and, and you'll look at it. This is what happened in history. They, now, at, at one point in time, you had the uh, poor white. You had slaves. And, and the you poor had black, which was a primarily slave. slave. And then you had and indigenous they, servants. And, and, and indigenous servants. But mm -hmm. see, you get what happened. They started having, they had a common thread. It was all against the who? The slave master. The, the, the hierarchy. So the hierarchy, the, the, the head, the elitist, the slave master, mm -hmm. he came up and he said, well, wait a minute. We can't let that happen because if they all come together then we and start getting along, then they're going to figure out how to push us out of power. So he said, well, I'm going to make them 
one step above them. One step above. By a, being able to say you can work your way to freedom as being an indigenous servant. It wasn't that they were getting paid, but the whites could work their way to freedom, which uh, they'll get a little shack in the house. But it gave them just enough power to say you're over the black people. Right. Yeah. And yeah. that's where we're at right now. You got the citizens. You got the police. The police is the first step above what? Police and the citizens. Then you go no, on we, up and you we, get we, into the three we, letter categories. So, no, we, 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 you talking about the you talking about every citizen. When I was when when Ted was making his his example, I'm thinking he's speaking of someone who's made it and has got a white person who hasn't done nothing with their life mad. You see what I'm saying? Now that that's initially, what, that's, that's what, what I, I think that, he was talking that's about. What I, that's what I took from what you were saying. Yeah, yeah, initially, you know what I'm saying because that that's that person that that that's filled with hate. That's the the, the, the country redneck right. driving in the pickup and the police. truck. And, 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 and the police. You know, and I and and basically, you know what I'm saying, you ain't really got nothing personally against me. You just hate me because of my skin. I, I mean, my whole thing is, and I know racism runs deep and racism is taught, but how can you just look at somebody and just judge them Strictly from a pigmentation. Everything else mm. about you. And then to justify everything that you've done to them over the years and now say they always flip it and say, look at the looters and the rioters. I mean, like the, like the girl said on the video, y'all have looted us for years. You Everything about- that we tried to ever accomplish, you burnt it down. You, you kill all our leaders. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous that we've had and and, and like somebody else said, I don't I don't even want to live in a country or in a in a and be in this situation where you don't respect me. You know what I'm saying? It's time to lay it down. I say I say it like this right here. This is what you gotta understand too. Yeah. We in a situation right now. Well, we've been in a situation that's been fucked up. But what we're doing is we're steady coming up with, with ways to complain about it beside or otherwise coming up with ways for solutions. Now, solutions are protest, riot, protest, riot, protest, riot. Okay. After that, vote, vote, vote. After that, then what? My thing is, what do you do after you go vote and then you don't get the people that you want? It ain't you see right. what I'm saying? It, it, or it, it, you know, the people don't come in and do what you mm-hmm. want them to do. I don't do. think it's no this, right or wrong. Hold on, hold on. It's not no wrong, right or wrong. Else. Wait a minute. This was the case. This is gonna keep being this a debate. This was the case, but now the case that's going and moving forward. If you don't look at it, we are putting down concrete ideas. The black legislation that's in Congress are putting in laws as we speak to address this uh, social it's not, and economic it's, disparities that's happening. That's bullshit. That is that's not bullshit, bullshit. Because the law states that you cannot even shoot anybody unarmed if you are a cop. That's the law. That's the motherfucking law. They're going to break them. The fuck is making laws going to do for George Floyd still died. Was, did he not break the law? Yeah. Did he not break the law? Well, this is why. Hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Time out, time out, time out. Fuck a law. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't. You <laughs> feel <laughs> Cause this shit crazy. Like it's, it's it's the same. It's the same cycle. And that's what I'm saying. It's not no right or wrong answer. The, the 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 right answer is everybody just need to come together on something. If we all gonna fuck some shit up, we all need to fuck some shit up. No. If we no. all gonna vote, we all gonna need to vote. Yeah. If we all gonna I protest, we all need to protest. But we don't need to be divided. You can't have motherfuckers out here fucking shit up. Then motherfuckers over here talking about some. No, don't do that. Get your ass out here. And get you some shit. Can I ask y'all one question? Mm-hmm. Can I ask y'all one? And question? you can't have motherfuckers saying let's go vote. Then half of the motherfuckers like, no, don't do that. But see, we gotta come together on whatever it is. But see, this you is what's crazy, me? right? Saw a sign on me. Saw a sign on the internet. Y'all seen it too. Dude had the big sign say, I ain't voting until Black Lives Matter. 
So get what? Did y'all see that? Yeah, I seen it. I but I, you know, I'll preach. I've been preaching that for years. Pull your vote. It may not seem like a lot now, but it would. That's but the, that's the wait a minute. Dumbest. See what this, we ain't gonna get nowhere like this. But this, I do. I do. This I is what has been going on for decades. But that's a dumb this move. Is what, it don't matter if, if, if everybody. Up, I don't give a fuck if you think it's dumb. If this what if this what your people on need to be out here with us, bro. If we out here fucking shit up, we gonna be out here fucking shit up. If we gonna be out here voting, we need to all be out here voting. It's too fucking divided. We ain't gonna never get nowhere like that. Cause nowhere. See, Cause see, you, you got you saying? got two different sides. Whatever the fuck we gonna do, we all need to be. That's why I say we need a. You know what I'm saying? A real motherfucking leader, not no motherfucking fake leader. Because it's a monkey see, monkey do motherfucking world. Yeah. You get all you gotta do is get you ten big motherfuckers to start doing it, and everybody gonna be doing it. What, just, just like just like protesting. They just made protesting cool. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's the cool thing. It's to fashionable do. now. You got people who never who protesting, you got people. Uh, hold on, time you got, Protesting is the is what this country is built no, on. No, I ain't talking about that. No, no, you got, no, you got like people. That. You got people that three, four years ago that were saying, "Ah, oh, protesting is stupid." It's out there protesting. Yeah. We understand. You that. got white people. Protest. We understand. You see what I'm saying? But this is what this, this country was. It, it, it ain't about. It about what it is. This is how this country was established. It ain't about what it is. We all got to be together. We bro. protested the, the 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 king of England. Who protesting them? The Americans that come over. We were still being taxed. What, you, nigga, you not American. Well, I'm just saying them. In they England. protested the king and queen yeah, of well, England. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But. That's what I'm saying. You see how easy it is to say that word "we" as we Americans. Nigga, I'm here. Where else I'm at? Okay, but you cannot be yeah, American. Are American. Uh -huh. Shit. Come on now. We're fighting for. Wait. No. 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 I can't that's say that's the whole point of the cause. Now we're trying to. Be... Yeah, I can't say. <laughs> so, so let me. What I'm saying now, now, is. This is where I'm at. This is what I'm saying. This is what we do. We we identify with them. But at the same time, when they're not doing what we want them to do, now we all of a sudden something else. No, we're really. the black race. We're this, we're that. I ain't know said that. I'm, I'm just talking about as a whole. You got to just look at what we doing. No, we, we, no you justice, can't no look at that. Black lives matter. You cannot look at that because we as a whole ain't never been on one accord. Okay. Until we all in, in one accord, then you say we as a whole. Watch, all watch, you can say is some people. Watch this. Watch how, watch, how, on, 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 watch how I can make that statement. Because if we say black lives matter and they say all lives matter, we mad. No, it ain't about all lives. It's about black life. You see how you just said that? You just put we and some shit that ain't got nothing to do with me. Don't say we, say you or them. I didn't. I do, I do, I do get upset. You see what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Don't so, put, don't, look, see how so you do, just put me in that you, shit? Do you agree with that? No, I'm, I'm, I'm using it. I'm, I'm just asking, do you agree with what, that? What, do I do I agree with black lives versus all lives? Yeah. It's, it's a give and take on that situation. No, I'm just asking, do you agree with that? Do I agree that black lives matter more than all lives? Is that what you asking? I'm asking. You said, do I agree with this? Do you agree in all lives matter, or do you agree with black lives matter? I simple, agree. Simple question. I agree with that all lives matter. But at this moment in time, black lives are the ones that are targeted at the moment. So black lives matter more at this moment. That's what I'm saying in that situation. So black people don't so, people being so, targeted? No, no, no. I'm just saying at this moment, right now, within what we going through. So what people, and the way, okay, the, okay. And the, way the chick broke it down, the way I saw the video, y'all might saw it too. Who, who, way, is, who is she? I don't know. Some, Fuck her. Some chick. No. But, but Let me way, make a video. And but the way she, broke, she, um, she She's an activist. Out of the, uh, she the, was the, in Minneapolis. The way she this. broke down the black lives versus whenever I say black lives matter. Right. And they'll holler all, all lives, lives matter. matter. The way she broke it down was if your house is on fire, right? Mm hmm And you call the fire department to come put your fire out at your house. And you like, well, what about my house? Mm-hmm. My house matter? No, ma'am. And we ain't saying your house ain't important. But your house ain't the one that's on fire. This is why black lives matter. Yeah, I just said that. In so many words, I just said mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. all lives matter. But right now, black lives are the one that's targeted. So right now, black lives are the most important. But he said black lives, uh, the black house on fire. The black house on fire right yeah, now. So I can't so no shit pussy about, but, we, but we know all. But, like but we know, at, we know, we know at the end, all lives matter. If your house is on fire, I ain't going to say, fuck your house. We're going to try but, to help you put it out. That's the that's the problem. <laughs> we need to start saying fuck their house because they gonna say fuck out. 
I mean, I'm yeah, just saying. I'm but, just but, saying but back to my original state. I'm just, state, I'm just saying. Let's go back to I'm, I'm going to let y'all go. Before you even got here. I'm going to go pay my water bill. Before, before you, you even got here. We're going to take a break or what? Yeah. Nah, it, oh, it's way past the break. It's like an hour, 30 minutes in. Oh, it's oh, way past the break. Shit. You sure it's 40 minutes late? But the real shit, though. That's why I was saying. That's why I was saying. Before you got here, like, why the fuck we always, you know what I'm saying? Like, I made the example of Shannon Sharp, right? You know, Shannon Sharp, I ain't going to say he. I think he kind of gave Drew Brees a pass. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. he, had, no, oh no, no. He, see, did you watch it? Did you watch Undisputed today? No, I didn't watch it today. That's what I'm I saying. seen when it first he came see, out. Exactly. You seen him tear his ass up, and Drew Brees called him and apologized. And now, Shannon Sharp feel different. You see what I'm saying? He he took back his statement. But and now all that. he he probably he probably convinced Shannon Sharp right that hey. What I said was a misstep, and I, from now on, I understand, and you're going to see a different Drew Brees. You're going to see a Drew Brees that's standing arm in arm with the cause, and then I'm going to put my money where my mouth at, then okay, yeah. But now, if you still if you still want to say, okay, my statement I stand on it, but but now if you recant the whole thing, even if you had to get all this pushback, I ain't giving him a pass. You know what I'm saying? Cause he fucked up with me. I ain't <laughs> like his ass no way, and none of them knew all the same. Mm-hmm. But my thing is, Shannon Sharp gave him a, gave him a, gave him a pass. Well, my is thing, he, is he, he, on, but, even his teammates gave him a pass. But this is what I'm saying. He did the right thing. Why does we as black people always got to do the right thing? It's in our nature. We are not, and this is, and that's true fact. They try to demon, demonize us. They try to make us out to be, you know what I'm saying, the 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 bad guy. But in in a true black person's nature, if you're not out here fucked up on drugs and all this other bullshit in your true essence of yourself, you are about love. How you feel about this, Aaron? All I heard is about love. How you feel about love, my nigga? What I feel about love is and nature. everybody love everybody. And nature. We, we, we're we not... We're but not, if they don't like you, fuck them. <laughs> That's what I feel. No, I'm just messing. <laughs> but no, nah, for real though, I, I, I really miss what y'all, what y'all were talking about. Mm-hmm. Now, when we brought when we brought the Caucasians down, I, I mean, when they come, when oh, we brought them down out of the Caucasus Mountains. That's where you no. Well, we, actually, we didn't bring them out of the Caucasus Mountains. We sent them up to the Caucasus Mountains because they were different than what we looked. But that's not. We didn't bring them down. Bro, who, but now we could have mistreated them. You believe that shit? What? No, my go ahead. I just, we could have mistreated just, them, but we brought them culture. The mountain. I just don't believe that shit. But well, ahead. it's oh, like this. Look it up. Look it up. The, That's true. I don't believe it. The melanated man, it. the color That's man, true. is I can, the original I can look it up man. and still just not believe it. You, feel me? Because you know what I'm saying? Don't. Because belief. Look at the word. I told you. Yeah, belief. It, it it's to get a lie the way as a truth. It's a Belalogian term. You know what I'm saying? It actually goes from Belalogian to Latin. Look at the root word of it. Lie. B. Lie. E. Belief. Look at the middle of it. It's lie. To get a lie the way as a truth. Just like I told you. To vote is to wish. You got to start looking up etymological terms, which actually gives you the root of where it comes from. Mm. You see what I'm saying? It comes, all our shit comes from, s- English language is a bastardized language. Mm-hmm. It's a mixture of all other shit that's mixed in. But the original language is that of the original people. Mm. There's a book on Amazon right now, if you go up in there, it's like the mother language. That's the name of it. They got a couple used versions on there right now for like $44.95. If you want to buy it, you can go read it. But that book has basically said that there, there is no language that has came out of Africa. No language has ever came out of Africa. All the language started with the Europeans and the Greeks. So how can you go back and say that Africa was the start of land? Because now they agree with this because Africa was the richest nation beforehand. And they went and robbed it of its riches, which is the knowledge and the light, and say that, we didn't have no languages. I mean, maybe they're just uneducated on it. 
Huh? They just don't. No, know. no, no. They, they probably know. They probably know that we know. We they had know to it, but they, but they take know it away. We had to communicate with each other, but they probably not just educated on actual. No, no, no they no, know. No, no, no. It. That's is, just like they use the word is, voodoo. This is how they break everything down and make it seem like they were the originators of it. I mean, to them, of course, to them, you see what I'm saying. But our history is so rich. We can go far, far, you know. So we can go so far back, so far back, so far back, so far back. But for them, they cannot. They can only go so far. I mean, you know, you see, they can you know, only go so far. They can only go back to to the European times. So that's where it started for them. You know what I'm saying? It's just like if you go. That's where it started for them. So there's there's a video on YouTube where it's a Chinese, uh, uh, what you call him, a genealogist, where he goes back and he says, "Yeah." We have African descent within us. And he can go back and he shows proof of how the Africans came through. Now, the story comes from Hannibal. Mm -hmm. How Hannibal went over with the elephants and crossed over the mountains and went and took over that land. That was the story now. I can't say that for sure or not. But it's just like here in America. That's why you don't hear Native Americans call themselves Native Americans. They call themselves natives because they were here first. Mm. The true story of uh, Christopher Columbus Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue and found Americas in 1492 is a fucking bullshit ass lie. Because when he actually ran up on it, he thought America, because they thought the world was flat at that time, Kyrie Irving, dumbass. Uh they he thought he sailed up on the backside of India. So that's why he started calling the native people Indians. How which the fuck is, can you think the earth is flat? Well, because a lot of motherfuckers is dumb. Bro, Just think about fuck? it. How the earth is flat? If the earth was flat, we'll be instead of discovering new new land. New land. Uh, or it, or it, you gonna run out of land at some stop. point. It'll never stop. It'll never it, No, no, it'll get to a point oh, to where uh, you, point, you'll be like, oh, you can't go no more. Wait a minute, hold on. How in the fuck does the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean meet together if it's flat? That's a good damn question. Cause if I get to the end of the Pacific Ocean, my boat should fall the fuck off. <laughs> Just using common logic. But going back to that story, it flew all the way around the world. I'm telling you, started right here and came all the way back to the same spot. Man, look, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, lane. in that situation where he actually thought he sailed up on the back of India, that's why he started calling them Indians. If you look at the word Indian, it comes from the word indigo. Indigo within your coloring book is a color. It's a blackish purple. They were of a colored people, a hue. That's why hue man is is so. How do I want to say this? It is so threatening to them when you call yourself a human. Because all you got to do is put an E into it and you're a human man, a man of color. But what they did, they call us color. They call us black. They call us Negroes. They call us niggas. NAACP to this day still say Negroes. Bro, y'all fucking up, man. Listen, I'm telling you, y'all need to start learning the law. We don't even operate in this country by a law of land. We operate by what they call maritime law. That's laws of the sea. You might want to look it up. That's why I'm telling you, when you call yourself black and you go into the court, you're not a person. You're an object. Y'all better start looking at shit, man. I'm all, that's all I'm saying. I had to get that little point out. But your no, shit. Boy, you only keep going. Sometimes you got to hit a motherfucker with some fat on their head. Go get you the black law dictionary. Matter of fact, go get all your law books you can get. The worst thing they could have ever did was, was took them green back motherfucking encyclopedias we used to have back in the gap. We used to have them motherfuckers where you can go look up everything from A to Z, and they even had goddamn double A, double B, double C. They had all them motherfuckers back in the day. There was a red, a red, uh, a red spine version and a green spine version where you can go back and read them motherfucking encyclopedias. Now, they told you more than them encyclopedias than they tell you in your Mississippi studies if you go to school in Mississippi. Because Mississippi studies only tell you about this much. The state of Texas, it put, it, they, they don't even say they were slaves no more. They try to say you workers. They trying to pull all that shit out of the history books. They need to, bro. Let it help. No, it wouldn't. Because you got to know your history. No, yeah, not where you come shit, from. No, not where you going. Only way, if we, if, only way that shit is really... I think that shit, like I say, I can't help that. Like like I said, I can never... I can just be... I can, I can grow up in a white neighborhood... I can be around white people my whole life, but once I see that, once I learn, once I start digging into my history and, and and seeing what my people went through, or seeing somebody look just like me being hung from a tree, I'ma instantly feel some type of way. 
You need to. Like, without even trying to. You then, need to. But my whole life was going good until that moment. Who gives a shit? You like, need to know. At that point, I had no you were idea blind. of what. Maybe that's what, like, I, like you say, no, nobody is born not liking somebody. Or no, it's not. Racist or, or born with hate. But once you learn that hate, it's hard to unlearn that hate. We don't learn hate. We learn what was happening going on back then. And then now we have a disdain. That's not hate. I don't necessarily hate white people. I have a disdain. I, I, ain't, speaking I, have a, I ain't speaking on you. I'm just saying there's a lot of people that hate. No, I'm, I'm just I'm using myself as right, an example. Right, right. You dig what I'm saying? But now, we got a song if you're a Christian person it's called Amazing Grace. The first thing you holler, once I was blind, now I see. You know why? Because I was blind to a lot of stuff, but now I see it. So guess what? Now that I see it, you mad. It ain't that you mad. Now I know how to react to it. Oh, you mad. I don't, I, it, because it, they love it, to it, keep a blind it's just on natural. shit. I can't see nobody looking at a fuck, a, a, a somebody that looks just like you being hung from a tree and a bunch of white people around the circle just laugh and point. He, ha, ha. I can't see how you can't get mad or just look at it and just be like, the turn. It's not, like, if you, if you say you don't get mad or you don't feel no type of way about it, just lying. No, no, I'm not saying it in that aspect. What I'm saying is that I'm not just waking up in the morning mad at another race but, uh, or another, okay. or not even a race, okay another ethnicity of people. It's not like we got we got to stop looking at it as it's you you part of the problem if you mad because you're not. Like, I, it's 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 them that don't understand why you mad, brother. I understand why you mad. You see what I'm saying? But it's the people who act like. You the problem because you mad. Oh, why you mad? Why you mad? Like, do I not have a reason to be mad? You feel me? That's the people who are the problem, the ones who paint people who are mad up as the problem. Like, oh, especially the white people. They look at a black man and be like, oh, that's just another angry black man. Why you angry? That shit happened years and years ago. Uh, that shit was back in Martin Luther King. We didn't throw eggs at you. Nigga, I don't, that don't mean I can't be mad. True. That don't mean I can't be mad. The fact that my motherfucking granddad had to go through that shit, and that's and that and that, and that, that took him back, that set him back years where he could have been where the fuck you at now, but that set him back years because he had to face that type of treatment. I don't deserve to be mad about that. You absolutely should be. I won't say it. I'm gonna say it like this right here. I, I agree with you. You do have a right to be mad behind you, but this is what I want to do. Tz, you missed last week's episode. Mm-hmm. You got a minute and a half. Rent. And then we're going to wrap this motherfucker up. We got to. I want you to talk about everything that you missed because I know you watched the show. Hold up. Wait a minute. Well, I ain't going to even get into all that. I'm going to rant. I'm going to rant about something that stays on my mind constantly. And that's the plight of our black race and what can we do to set ourselves and our children up to get out of this oppressive white dominated society and be free uh, that's all we want. We just want to be fucking free of all the scrutiny of all the ping finger pointing. Just leave us alone and let us damn make it. Ain't nobody fucking with y'all, really. You know, I had one of my partners. He said, don't give a fuck about that, really. He said, man, I ain't fucking with y'all. Why are you fucking with me? I ain't even over there fucking with y'all. But you want to come over here and fuck with me. That's the only thing we saying. Now, to, in order, a question was asked, in order for us, what does it take for us to get to where we need to be? First, we need to be economically independent. I'm with you right there, but every hundred thousand dollars 
that a white family has is represented in the black community is probably five thousand dollars. Hmm. It ain't even that much at twelve hundred if you got a car. Right. Antonio Moore put that out. So we what we need to do, and when somebody say buy black, buy black. Right damn right. I'm not saying don't ever buy white, but we need to support black. God damn right. And if a black person messes you over, don't go bash them. Handle that shit one on one. Just like you would any other situation. Mm -hmm. I would go buy black, but every time I fool with somebody black, I get fucked. And, and and let me let me t- let me t- add one little thing about mm-hmm. that. We got we got to realize who our natural competitor is. We got to realize who the competitor is because a lot of times we get in competition with each other. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. And go ahead. Oh no, you good. You good. No, that's, all, that's all I wanted to add. You was going on the right. You know what I'm saying? You, I'm agreeing with everything. Last but not least. Mm-hmm. White people. Caucasoid. If you don't understand how black people feel, like you tell LeBron James to shut up and dribble, we telling you to shut up and listen. Drew Brees. Because if you hadn't walked a mile in my shoes, then you will never understand. Thank you, Alvin Kamara. I like that little commentary y'all doing. <laughs> I really do. That's, that's, that's amazing. I really like that. But, you know, yeah, I mean, so y'all just, if you don't like us, stay the hell away from us. Racist. That's it. That's a simple solution. I mean, we are put here to coexist. I call y'all our little brothers because you couldn't have got here without us. But now if you keep on. I call you colonizers. If you keep on. You know, like my mama used to always tell me, keep on. You're going to get what you're looking for. I remember a show. You're going to get what you're looking for. Oh, I can't name the date, but I remember a show when my boy said the chickens will come home to roost. Hey, chickens, they going to come home to roost. And when still they hatch. That shit, do you still and, that ain't, that? and that ain't no threat. I don't I don't threaten. Look, the thing, what I'm saying is, Terrence always tell me that karma is real. It I, is. Used to, I used to always say, no, I don't really believe in karma. But I'm changing my mind tonight. That shit real. Karma, when it come back. Gonna... Hey, this is a legendary, like, this is a historical <laughs> moment. This Cause that nigga will never agree with that. <laughs> no, this nigga don't. This, this is one, st- if y'all don't know Ted, y'all know. You know, see, I watch the show. This is one stubborn ass nigga who really think how he think and don't give a fuck. Well, nobody else think. I ain't gonna say don't give a fuck. I'm saying like it's kind of hard to change his mind once he got his mind set. Yeah, hey, yeah. Look at that beard. He been had it for years. I think, goddamn it. Uh, <laughs> like I said, we should go down in history or the Guinness Book of Real Records for giving you to change your mind or turn. Well, look, we we are, we are, we are in we are in changing times. We're really changing. You know what I'm saying? So I can't be so stuck in my way that I can't evolve and I can't change. You know what I'm saying? And this is where we at. I'm I'm about change. I feel you. Know what I'm, saying? I'm about change. I'm about progression. And you know what I'm saying? The only thing I'm saying is look, we we tired. We are tired. And we ain't T-I keep red. Going. We ain't even tired. We T I red. We know. We T I E D. Damn, I'm tired, tired. Like God damn, boy, that's tired right I'm there. I'm tired, literally. We sick of this shit. Oh, and look, right. I, I, that look. Said literally. Literally. We, we, need, we need to protest. We need to keep protesting. We need to keep marching. And you know, I know I went over on my rent, so. Yeah, you went over by three minutes, nigga. You owed me on the next show. But, uh, D. You think you know better than trying to give me a minute and a half, man. Anyway. Here. I'm good. You straight? Yes, sir. I, I tell y'all what, ladies and gentlemen. This has been another... Great episode of the Sip City Podcast. I am a little intoxicated. I'm lying. Okay. But no, for real though. Listen. We got to learn some shit. We got to know some shit. We can't just be out here 
free for all and with everything right now. It's too much knowledge out here for us to get be able to get, man. It's too many books out here for us to get. Yes, they can change the change the laws at the stroke of a pen, but guess what? We gotta stay up on that law game. Vote, vote, vote. Hey, do what you gotta do. Wish, 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 do what you gotta do. All I'm saying is younger generation. I respect it. Do what you gotta do. Turn this mother up if you got to. Older generation. Hey. Teach the young. Hey, teach the young. Whatever we on, everybody be on. Hey, listen. We can come together with everybody. Like like D said earlier, black, white, brown, whatever. However you identify yourself, that's how it go. But we can come together. Take the powers up here because we got them, we got the numbers down here to take the and, and shift it. Shift that shit. But at the same time, we gotta be willing to sacrifice some shit too. So I'm gonna say that as for it being Sip City Podcast, like I said last week. Holding this fart for too long. Can you please cut that shit, nigga? Fart. Uh, uh, You know what I'm saying? But I will say this right here. Anybody, well, y'all didn't do it in Jackson, but I'm glad you. Go ahead, go ahead. Say his name. Go ahead. Huh? Say his name. Who name? Oh my god. You were just gonna talk about. You forgot the man name already. You drunk. I ain't worried about these Negroes. Sip City Podcast. We out there, bitch. I'm going to tell you like George that. Floyd. Oh, you wanted me to say that. <laughs> I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. R.I.P. George Floyd. Breonna Taylor. Trayvon Martin. Tamir Rice. Eric Garner. Sandra Bland. Um, and a host of other names. But I will say this. It's done got to the point the names don't matter. It's too much of it happening. Get this shit together. If not. We coming for that ass. You see how we coming. Sip City Podcast. I'm still on one from last week. Touch me. I touch you. I for an eye. Two for a two. We out this bitch.